My family, Megan's mom, Doria Ragland, was spotted out and about at the Beverly Hills art show. And she looks incredible, as always. I believe that Doria Ragland has a very, very beautiful smile. So my family, it is nice to see her smiling, happy, and so, so full of joy. My family. And my family, so here is what happened. Doria took to the Honor Titus Art Show with a friend. Before they headed for dinner at 2 for Nayo restaurant in the area. She dressed for comfort in the blazing sunshine, wearing an amazing red dress. The all-in-one sleeveless looked perfect for the heated summer. Los Angeles has been experiencing my family. And her pal, her friend, went for a light ensemble with white trousers and a jacket paired with a light blue shirt. She chose black loafers for her footwear and tied her gray locks back in a ponytail. And the exhibit titled Advantaged In showcases the artist's love of tennis, something that Megan has had a very, very keen interest in as she also has an amazing friend called Senna Williams who plays tennis. That even before she met Prince Harry, she was going to watch Senna Williams play. My family. I love that extremely so, so much, my family. And my family. So my family, it's just nice to see Doria smiling and being extremely, extremely happy. It is quite a joy to see her smiling. And she looks incredible and she looks so, so great, my family. And my family also, on top of that, here is what has also been basically said, my family. Back then, Daniel Martin, a close friend of Megan, said this about Megan and Doria's very, very close relationship. He said this in a quote, Megan draws a lot of strength from her mother. Doria is classy, chic, and confident, but not unapproachable. I definitely feel Megan gets a lot of that from her mother. Indeed, my family, very, very true. 100 percent, my family. You know? And my family, Doria raised an amazing, amazing daughter. I also recall my family that Doria was offered money by Parazi to just say something, you know, anything to them about Megan. And she said, no, that is my child. She refused to sell out her own daughter for 30 pieces of silver. I love what, you know, Doria Ragland told Parazi, that is my child. That is my child. And I'm happy that Doria has always stood by Megan's side through thick and thin. And now my family, I'm sure that she's an amazing, an amazing, great, great, you know, grandmother to Archie and Lilibet Diana. She's an amazing grandmother to Archie and Lilibet Diana. And my family, in Harry's memoir spare, Harry tells us of a dinner that he had with Megan and Doria. My family, allow me to share with you what Harry said in his memoir spare. And I quote, We met up at night for dinner. We had happier things to discuss. Mega just done a trip to India with World Vision, working on menstrual health 
management and access to education for young girls. After which she taken Doria on a yoga retreat in Goa. A belated celebration of Doria's 60th birthday. We were celebrating Doria. Celebrating being together. And doing it all at our favorite place. Soul House at 76 Dean Street. On the topic of India, we laughed about the advice I had given Megan before she'd left. Do not take a photo in front of the Taj Mahal. She'd asked why and I'd said my mom. I'd explained that my mother had posed for a photo there and it had become iconic and I did not want anyone thinking that Megan was trying to mimic my mother. Meg had never heard of this photo and found the whole thing baffling. And I loved her for being baffled. My family, you know, just hearing what Harry says to Megan about even not taking a photo at Taj Mahal because he knew the tablets would have accused Megan of trying to mimic Diana, my family. It's basically, it gives us an idea of what Harry knew was always going to happen to Megan, of what tablets would say to Megan, about Megan, to attack Megan. Everything that Harry would tell Megan, he told her to protect Megan from the bigoted UK tablets. Clearly, he was worried about what they would say, about them attacking Megan or throwing accusations towards Megan. Now, my family, I love how Harry always protected Megan. I love it so, so much, my family. And also, that dinner with Doria was wonderful. But I look back on it now as the end of the beginning. The next day, the pub photos appeared and there was a new flood of stories, a new surge along the many channels of social media. Racism, misogyny, it all increased. My family, Prince Harry says in his memoir, Spare. And my family, Harry also speaks of the racism that Doria also encountered at the hands of the racist UK tablet press. And my family, I want to mention also what Harry said about Doria Ragland. Please kindly also hear this because Harry's memoir has basically, you know, many, many things of what they went through in the UK. It has examples of racism, examples that tablets will never ever cover or even want to speak about ever again. Please kindly hear this. A day or two later, the mail weighed in again. This time with an essay by the sister of London's former mayor, Boris Johnson, predicting that Meg would do something genetically to the royal family. Here is what she said, and I quote, If there is issue from her union with Prince Harry, the Windsors will thicken their watery, thin blue blood and Spencer pale skin and ginger hair with some rich and exotic DNA. You can see the racist dog whistles used against Megan. But Johnson, Rachel Johnson, did not stop at Megan. She went after Megan's mom, Doria. Sister Johnson further opined that Meg's mother, Doria, was from the wrong side of the tracks. That's what she said. And a stone cold proof evidence that she had, you know, the big evidence she had to back up, to back up what she said, my family. 
that Doria was from the wrong side of the tracks was this. She cited Doria's dreadlocks. The evidence was Doria's dreadlocks. Apparently, that was Rachel Johnson's evidence that Doria was from the wrong side of the tracks. Harry then says, this filth was being blasted out to three million Britons about Doria. Now here is what Harry said about Doria. Lovely Doria, born in Cleveland, Ohio, graduate of Fairfax High School in a middle-class part of Los Angeles. My family. You know, I'm so happy that, first of all, Harry and Meghan live in, you know, Mount Distro, my family, where Doria can be able to go and see Harry and Meghan whenever she wants, whenever she wants to go there, and not have to take, to take long flights to the UK. I'm happy about that. And also, Doria, in the Harry and Meghan docuseries, said the same thing. She was happy that Harry and Meghan were living, you know, in California. She was happy that from now on, she never had to take flights to the UK to and from. Now, she can just go there and see Meghan and Harry and her grandkids and her grandkids, my family, very, very easily. I'm happy about that for Doria Raglan. I'm happy that right now she's able to see her daughter and uh, she live it just so, so easily, my family. And when Harry Meghan went to the UK, for the one Young World Summit that Meghan was supposed to give an address to, and during that time, the Queen passed away, Harry and Meghan were in the UK for longer. And I'm sure that when Harry and Meghan were in the UK, Doria was taking good care of Archie and Lilibet Diana. My family, I'm happy also about that 100%, my family. You know? And my family, just to see and speak about what even the racism that Doria went through at the hands of the racist role experts, the racist former prime minister and former London mayor's you know, sister, my family, I'm just happy that Harry and Meghan fled the UK. I'm happy that they live in the US and they're back home together as a family. Meghan also is back home in California and that right now, even Harry said that, you know, California is a great place to live. Right now, that is his home. You know, home is whereby the people you love, where they are, is where your loved ones are, is where your wife and children are. And no wonder, even when Harry comes to the UK to testify in court, he rushes back home to his wife, Megan, and kids. My family, because that is his home. That is where he belongs. And may God bless Prince Harry. And also, it was so, so nice to see Harry Meghan, you know, celebrating the 4th of July parade, my family, which they love to go to. And I look forward to seeing Harry Meghan celebrate even more 4th of Julys in the U.S. forever and ever and ever and ever. My family, I'm just so happy to see Doria Ragland. My family, we rarely get the chance to even see Doria. So seeing her is just incredible. She's a true mom, a real mother, who has seen what Megan has been through and stuck by her daughter's side, my family. Sadly, unlike Thomas Markle, someone who sold his own child for 30 pieces of silver and lives out the rest of his days wondering why Megan won't speak to him. And yet the guy speaks to people who abuse his own daughter. My family, I'm just so happy that Megan, you know, has Doria in her life. An amazing mother. 
an amazing grandmother to Lilibet and Archie. I'm happy about that so, so much. So, so much, my family. You know, Doria is a good woman. And you can clearly see exactly, you know, who Megan has clearly taken after. Her amazing, remarkable mom, Doria Ragland. And my family, I believe that I've said enough kindly. Now, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed kindly. I like to hear your opinion, my family. But it is nice seeing Doria look amazing. She looks great, you know, and just so, so amazing. Both Doria and Megan also share an immense love for, you know, yoga, my family. They love doing yoga, my family. You know? So my family, I'm happy that Megan was brought up with an amazing woman, an amazing mom like Doria Raglan, who has been, you know, by Megan's side through thick and thin, in good times and in bad times, my family, supporting her dearly beloved daughter. That is Doria Raglan, an amazing human being, an amazing mother. And it's so, so nice to see Megan's mom, Doria, out and about my family, looking incredible as always. She's an amazing woman my family. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lily Bettana, and Tori Raglan, and all of you members the square at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Doria looks beautiful, and I love the outfit her friend is also wearing. Love to see Mama Doria happy. And I know it is not Mother's Day today, but Happy Mother's Day always to an amazing mother like Doria Ragland. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned for our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.